I know you keep telling me to get over it. But I just wanted Barbara to pay for something. Something. I know. But you and I are just gonna have to console ourselves with the knowledge that we are happier than Barbara Ryan will ever be. I just can't erase the image of Hal up on that stand testifying that Barbara was a victim. How do I come to terms with that? I wanted her to pay at least a token price for what she did to us. And she will. She will pay for the rest of her life, Emily. But we are free. <sighs> she won, Carly. Only if we become obsessed with our own disappointment. There are other kinds of justice, Emily, so just walk away from this. And don't blame Hal. Enjoy him. Treasure what the two of you have. Ladies. We not only won them, we won big. What's going on? Emily and I were just about to count our blessings. You better go first, Carly. Oh, I, I'm shocked. How can you summon up gratitude after, for anything after what happened this afternoon? I'm with Jack. I know how much the two of you were hoping for a conviction. Do you, Hal? Do you have any idea? We weren't just hoping for Barbara's conviction, Hal. We were counting on it. But it didn't happen. And we'll just have to deal with that. And we will. Because we are the real winners here, Emily. We have our lives. We have our sons. We have our men. We have friends and family. We have the only things that truly matter. And Barbara, the woman who tried to take it all away from us, what has she got? She's only got a big, fat bill from her hotshot lawyer. Travers got Barbara a second chance. Maybe this will be a turning point for her. She's missed every wake-up call so far. Yeah, but she was planning on spending tonight behind bars, and she's not. That's got to hit home more than anything ever has. I hope so. She came within an inch of losing everything. Not close enough. Emma. No, you know what? I don't want to talk. I'm just going home. Hey, how? Just try to understand. She needs some time. I'll walk slowly. You're so evolved about this, it's making my head spin, Carly. So why don't you tell me, what are you really planning? Revenge. Plain and simple and oh so sweet. I ask you to explain how revenge can be simple and sweet. You ask me to close my eyes and when I open them, you're nowhere to be found. Champagne? <sighs> Not a sip until you lay out your plot. Well, champagne is part of it. And so are you. How is drinking champagne with me revenge? Drinking champagne with you, making love with you, living with you, laughing with you. Just think about it, Jack. I've got a gorgeous guy who adores me, a wonderful son, and enough talent to blow B.R.O. out of the water. The only thing I have to do to make Barbara Ryan regret the day she ever met me is to live my life, because it's a good one. <laughs> what? It's you. You're amazing. Look who's talking. The man who never stopped looking for me. Who never stopped loving me. Not even when I had more wrinkles than a linen sport coat in August. <laughs> Barbara may have her freedom, Jack. But she hasn't got your hand to hold. She doesn't have your arms around her. She's got nothing. And I... I have you. And I have you. As long as we both shall live. And every time she sees us laughing or kissing or swinging Parker through the air, she's going to feel something cold blow past her. And you know what that's going to be? The ashes of her life. So I pity her, Jack. I really do.
You may feel like Velvet, but you are one tough enemy. Now, when you stood up in that courtroom with fire in your eyes, I wanted to rip off your clothes right in front of that judge. Talk about contempt of court. Mm. What can I say? You light my fire. Well, I do like a good fire. Mm. Mm. Snyder. Jack, it's Jessica. I need to talk to you about the Barbara Ryan case right away. What case? The case I plan to reopen. Can you meet me at Java Coffee Shop now? Yeah, I'll be there. That was Jessica. She wants to talk about reopening Barbara's case. Well, go. Something new might have come up. Well, what happened to living well is the best revenge. Yeah, well, sure. But seeing Barbara Ryan in a jumpsuit would make life a whole lot better. You keep the home fires burning. For you, G-Man. Five alarm. Why am I here, Jess? Why are you talking about reopening Barbara's case? Hmm? Have you got something new? That's your job. And do it right. Because when I prosecute Barbara Ryan, I don't want any mistakes. Hello? Is there anybody back there? I'd like to pay my bill. Bartender, you have bags from behind the bar. Thank you. Carly. Unbelievable. 